So this week I found out one of my very close friends is pregnant again. Congratulations! Now whilst this baby will be born into a very loving and welcoming family, the pregnancy was unplanned. And the reason it was unplanned is because my friend wasn't taking any sort of contraceptive measures, namely the contraceptive pill. She was afraid that the pill had negative consequences. So this video is to you, my friend who shall remain nameless, and anyone out there who's concerned about the health impacts of the contraceptive pill. Now a little bit of pill 101. The contraceptive pill uses hormones to trick your body into thinking that it's pregnant, thereby by not releasing an egg to be fertilized. No egg, no baby. The hormones are already in your body and are a natural part of life. Estrogen, GnRH, and LSH are just some of the natural hormones that are present in every woman, whether she's pregnant or not. The contraceptive pill just mimics what our body does naturally. There's nothing unnatural about having hormones in your body. What's unnatural is the way that we live in modern life. In caveman days, a woman would have hit puberty much later than today's modern women. So what the pill does is kind of take us back to caveman days. It simulates it's pregnancy and it takes the burden of producing an egg every month off our body. That's probably one of the reasons why so many studies have reported that people who are on the pill are less likely to die of any cause. That's right, the pill definitely decreases a woman's risk of certain types of cancers, particularly ovarian and cervical cancer. The Royal College of General Practitioners in the UK have been studying oral contraceptives since 1968 and their ongoing study has proven over time that women who take the oral contraceptive pill are far less likely to die of basically every cause, including cancer, heart disease, and most natural causes. One theory behind why the pill is so good for our health is that it helps to take the stress of egg production off our body, thereby decreasing the risk of genetic mutation, which leads to things like cancer. So for those of you out there who are concerned about the negative health effects of taking the pill, there's actually a lot of positive health effects that you're missing out on. Of course, if you have a history of certain type of cancers, the pill may not be for you, so definitely talk to your doctor before you take any sort of oral contraceptive. If you'd like to check out the studies for yourselves, they're all in the links below, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks! Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ, and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.